Thanks for attending today's webinar on Darwin Automated Invoice Preview Payroll. So today I'll take you through um, Darwin's ability to run a payroll and also send out the invoice preview information directly to the customer for approval before finalizing your payroll. So I've already imported a batch of transactions into the system, so I'll go ahead and start the payroll from the build process. And the build process is essentially how the payroll is going to run for this particular client. Lots of different options here based upon preferences for um, automating the payroll as quickly as possible based upon the needs of the client. But in this case, we're, we've got it turned on where it will actually send out invoice previews to the customer. So first thing I just need to do is select the batch of transactions that I've already created and go ahead and click my build button right here. And this will take me to the first step in the payroll process. Essentially what this first report is going to be showing us is just a, just a listing of the transactions that are involved in the payroll process, what's come in from the batch itself, where we've got an hourly pay rate at 40 hours, and then whatever standard deductions and taxes are appropriate for this individual employee. So we can go ahead and move past this report and get on to the gross to net part of the payroll. So the second step is it will actually calculate the checks of the payroll itself. So what this report will do will give us two things. It will give us a screen with the information, the checks that are on it, and we also have the ability to see an actual report that will show us the gross to net. And this report can be one of the reports that's sent out to the customer, and it can be customized to be full one page per employee. Um, you, can, you can add and remove fields, things like that in the system. But if I get to this screen and I'm scrolling through the different checks and I realize there was an issue with one of, the, one of the transactions that came in from the payroll batch, I can actually change it right here on the fly. So maybe this guy really worked 20 hours and not 40 hours. I can recalculate this one employee, this one check, on the fly in the middle of the payroll run. And everything is stored in an audit report, so we'll always know any changes that were made by any user in the system. So I can come to this screen back and forth from the invoice to the screen as many times as I need to as the customer makes changes before approving the payroll process. So as I continue the pay run, this is where it's going to give me one last chance to see that report where I made the change for internal viewing. So you can see right here, you know, we changed this guy's hours to 20 hours and it recalculated his totals correctly. So in the meantime, it's also bringing in these invoices onto a preview dashboard. So what happens here is for this particular customer, I have two invoices. That's because I'm using divisional invoice, which automatically creates a one invoice per division of this customer based upon where the employees worked. Now secondarily, as an internal user, I can preview either one of these invoices at any time. So before I even send it off to the customer for approval, in this temporary stage where we are where we're in kind of in the preview format, I can look at any of the invoicing and payroll reports I need to to make sure that everything looks okay internally. So I can come in here, preview the report, click preview. In this case, I'm just previewing the, the base invoice itself, the invoice cover sheet. And then I can look at the backup reports if I needed to. So once I'm okay internally with that information, I can go ahead and automatically send this off to the customer. So I can say, say do it, send it two different ways. One is I can send it out to the web for the customer to approve it on the web. Secondarily, I can also send it by email. Now I've set this customer up to receive it both ways. So they're actually going to go ahead and get an email and it's also going to go out to the web themselves. So it'll take a second to run here. You can watch it actually what it's doing. But what it does for us when I'm doing it um, this way, it's actually taking all the reports that this customer requires, attaching it to an email and sending it to that, that customer. So it'll actually see it in an email and on the web. Now it's doing it twice here because this is a divisional client and they have two divisions and they're each going to approve their own invoice. So I've sent off those two, those two invoices and reports, samples, they sent them by email and they're also out on the web automatically. So we can see the emails came in as I copied myself on the email. So here's the email, you control the text of the email and all the reports are listed right here in this zip file. So we can actually open this up and these are the reports that are sent to the customer such as that, that kind of check register calculate checks report that was saw before where we changed James to 20 hours. So they get this information along, along with the job costing reports, total of the invoice, whatever information they require. Now the customer could reply back to this invoice and say this looks good, finalize the payroll. A better system for your customer though is if they see it on the web. So if I come out on the web right here, I've actually switched to the customer view. So this is the client I ran the payroll for. 
and there's a preview notification right here. So by clicking the preview notification, I get the fact that I can see the two divisional invoices. I can drill them to either one, and I can see that same information we just saw on the email and internally out here on the web. So it automatically sent these reports and information out to the web for the customer to see. So once the customer's reviewed all the different reports that are out there, they actually can come in and either individually or by group approve those invoices. If they deny it, they can type in a detailed reason why they're, why they're uh, not accepting the invoices. Maybe we need to change James's hours from 20 to 30 hours. I can go back to that screen I did before and make that change on the fly. In this case, we'll just say they look good. We want a reason. Invoices are okay. Sends the response back to the internal operator back in, in your back office. So when I go back to the invoice preview screen, that information will come down. Both invoices are approved. If I want to see any comments they put in, they just said invoices are okay. And then if they had had an issue, I could say edit calc check. And it would go right back to that one screen where we changed the, the value of James's hours from 40 to 20. But in this case, we're just going to go ahead and finalize the payroll. And the system is set up where it will automatically post your invoice through, have it set up in AR ready for cash receipt, and I'll simply be able to click one button and print the checks um, directly from the invoices themselves. So it's actually doing your GL transactions and your invoice posting right now automatically. And then it will bring back up your invoice preview dashboard just so you can see any other remaining invoices that are out there. And this is for a different customer. We can leave those and continue on with what we're doing now. If I want to go ahead and print the checks, I simply click the print the checks. It allows me to print new checks. And it'll actually list my checks out there. And so I have three checks to print and two deposits to email. Because we can automatically email direct deposit stubs to the employees based upon the setup. So I just simply click print. And it'll check the settings of the employees and deliver the direct deposits and the hard checks as appropriate. So the deposits are, are emailed and it's also going to go ahead and print the, the checks themselves. And I'll print these to PDF just so we can see them on screen here. Here are the, here's the notifications about the invoices and the, and the checks to the clients and employees. If I go ahead and print this, this check file off, in this case we're printing it to PDF so we can see it on screen. We can see we've created our checks. If I jump over to my email system, we can see these, this is a, the email that would go to the employee. This can be customized once again. I can double click from here. It will require the employee to put in their password, but they will have their paycheck stub um, available to them via email. Also works with mobile devices, so if they get this on an iPhone or a Blackberry, they'll be able to access their paycheck information that way. And alternative formats of this are available if the employee is getting a check that's a hard check and you don't need to want to attach the stub. We can give them a custom email and tell them to sign into their employee portal to, to go ahead and print their checks. Thank you. That's how uh, automated payroll works in Darwin.